Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by again for another wonderful tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we'll be making a peplum blouse with a flutter sleeve. So this will be, we have a princess theme in the front. So I have gone ahead and drafted my basic uh, bodice and the back will have just the um, waist uh, dot, okay? So uh, now the front um, is going to have a princess seam. So what I did is come uh, get the midpoint of the armhole and then I'll connect it to my dot. That's what I'm just doing here. Again, you're going to get the midpoint of your armhole and then you connect that to your um, dot. You connect it down to the uh, bust point. And now from that midpoint, you come down by one inch. And then we'll be connecting it again towards the bust point. All right, now you're going to go up from the bust point to go up by one inch. you go up by one inch and then you connect that uh, one inch down from the mid armhole you connect it to the one inch above the bust point now you're going to add back the one inch you you uh, mark our one inch so we'll be adding it back to the armhole so we don't have a shortage when we cut out the dots All right, so that's how you create a princess uh, seam. All right, again, you come, you get the mid uh, arm O, and then you connect that line to your boss point, then go up by one inch from the boss point and connect it to one inch down from the mid arm O. And then you add that one inch back to the armhole. Okay, so now this is the front and it's going to have one and a half inches uh, zipper allowance. Okay, because there's a zip on the front of this style. Okay, so now we're ready to cut it out. Don't forget to add all your allowances. So I already add all my allowances before creating the uh, princess seam. I use a two and a half uh, for the side seam. It's better to use more um, seam allowance than less so that um, you can adjust accordingly. All right. Okay, so this is the front piece once you finish cutting it out. And then the back piece. So now we're going to split the front, uh, the center front open. Remember, it's going to have a zipper in, um, in the front. So now you have uh, four pieces for the front, the two side pieces and the two center fronts. And then this is the back. The back does not have any zipper allowance. It just have a waist that. So the back is just a regular basic uh, bodice. And I will leave a link in the description box below on a link on how to draft a basic uh, bodice. Okay, so now the next thing for us to do is to uh, cut out the peplum. Okay, so you're going to fold your fabric into two, like so. And then you're going to fold it into two again. So basically now you have about the uh, four pieces, okay? So for the uh, peplum, you're going to use uh, your, your waist measurement. We're going to divide that by 6.28. And that's how you get the radius. And now for the length, you're going to minus whatever total length you're working with. You minus that from the, the upper bodice. So for me, my upper bodice is 16 inches. 
and then uh, the total length of my um of my blouse is uh 25 inches so if you minus 25 inches from 16 you will have nine plus uh, one inch uh, same allowance to hem and also to join um, the bodies to the peplum okay so now i created my radius like i said your waist measurement you divide that by 6.28 and that's how you get your radius and then you're going to mark it all around and now and after that i am marking the length of my peplum so when you're marking the length of your peplum make sure you uh, you place your tape rule where i'm placing it okay don't place don't start measuring after your radius just place at the tape of um your fold just like i'm showing you here so that you can get a perfect uh, curve all right so now you just um connect all the lines and we are ready to cut it out it's very easy to draft and if you don't understand anything please uh, ask me questions in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to answer you okay so this is the uh day three of my my so from home challenge i'm doing um 30 days at a time depending on how long uh, we are asked to stay home during this uh, pandemic uh, crisis so this way it beats the uh, boredom you know i like to create a uh, new stuff i like to sew and if you have a request on anything that you want me to make please leave it in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to do it okay so this is our peplum and now i'm cutting out uh, one side because we we'll be, this that side will be for the front remember like i said the front has a zipper okay so this is how it will be so now when you place the uh, the front bodies this is the two center pieces. Once you join them together, then the opening will um, correspond to the bodice. Okay, so that's um, that for the um, the front. So we're going to be cutting the. Uh, lining i will be using a lining on this uh, blouse we cut the lining exactly the same way as the main fabric okay now and as you can see this is the back and then i have my front pieces and also my peplum okay now we are ready to sew so the first thing that you're going to do is place the side um front together with one of the center fronts and then you join it together using half an inch as seam allowance now you backstitch and you begin to sew so now when you're sewing um when you're attaching the side piece to the center front make sure you're pivoting the you're pivoting the um you're pivoting the side as you're going because you see it's cut in a curved manner just like i'm showing you here you keep pivoting until you reach the end so as you're sewing you straighten it out and continue to pivot once you reach the end you backstitch and there you have it uh, you've joined the side to the front so the center front so now you're going to do the same for the other side now this is the back the back only has um, a waist a dot which i'm going to pin down and then sew it I'll also leave a link in the description box below how to draft a basic bodice and 
in that uh, video, it, ha it shows you how to add your waist to that and all, okay? So be sure to watch that if you don't already know how to add a waist dot. Okay, so once you pin it down, you take it to your sewing machine and then you sew all through. So once you get to the end, you just sew all through and let the thread hang. And then you cut. So you don't cut out the thread, you just open up the thread and make a knot away at the end of your dart, just like this. And then you cut out your thread. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to join the back and the front piece and the shoulder and also by the sides. And then after you've done that, the next thing is to join the peplum to the top of the main uh, bodies. Okay, so you're going to start from this side and go through the back and join it. And then you have an opening left in the middle. Okay. So you join the, um, the lining the same way. So now we'll be using the lining to turn the main fabric. So you're going to place your your main bar, your main fa, uh, blouse right side facing you. So the right side will be facing up. Then you place your lining facing uh, right side of the lining facing the right side of the main blouse. So we'll be joining the bottom so we can use this, we use it to turn um to turn the blouse. So once you place it down, go ahead and straighten the lining as you're going and then you pin it down as you're going, making sure everything uh, lines up uh, correctly. I'm going to continue pinning until I get to the end. So once I finish pinning, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and um, join the lining and the main uh, fabric together. And after that, I will add the zipper. Okay, so after joining it, I, I turned it over and give it a good press. As you can see, the inside looks very nice and neat. And I also added the zipper. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the outside. All right, now the next thing is to cut out the collar. If you look at the uh, style, you see it has a collar. So um, once, you draw, once you've uh, attached your zipper, you're going to measure from one side of the neckline to the other side of the neckline. So whatever measurement that you get, you'll be using it to uh, cut out the collar. So you're going to fold your fabric into two and then you divide whatever measurement that you got for your neckline divide it into two 
for the width of the for the width of the collar i'm going to be using two inches okay so you mark your two inches and now the length of the collar is uh whatever you got for your um neckline when you measured it on your fabric you're going to divide into two mine is 21 inches i just fold my um tape into two to meet the 21 inches like that so that's the measurement i will be placing or you can just uh divide it um with your calculator so once you get that, you use your ruler and connect uh, the line. Okay. And now we're going to get the midpoint of that uh, line. Mark the midpoint and then extend the line. From the end of the line, you go up by one inch. And then you use your French curve and connect it to the midline. Okay, so now from the end again, you're going to come out by one inch. Then you're going to slant that one inch to meet the other one inch we made earlier, just like that. Then you place your French curve ruler like so. And then you just make a curve. This is so because uh, your neck um, is kind of curved from the back. So you don't want your collar to just be standing uh, straight. All right, so once you do that, you go ahead and cut that out. So we'll be cutting out two pieces of um, two pieces of the collar. So this is what it looks like, like once you cut it out. So you'll be cutting two of that. And this is the two pieces. So now we're going to join it together. You fold that together and join the top and also the sides. So you're going to join this side and then sew on the top. Okay, so this is it after I've sewn it. And then once you, you've finished sewing the collar, open up um, the bottom and then you start attaching it from where your zipper ends. So I'm not using an interface for, the, for mine, but um, is, the interface is optional. If you decide to use, your, use an interface, you just iron it on. Uh, nothing different, you iron it on, on your collar and then you sew the top and the side just like I showed you and then you go ahead and attach it um, to the neckline of your blouse. So you first you attach the bottom and then once you finish attaching it, then you fold the the left over, you fold by half an inch to cover up the seam. Okay, so now after I have finished sewing it, this is what it looks like. So as you can see from the inside, it's very clean, it, it, high, uh, it hid the, the seams. So the sleeve I'm using uh, is uh, 
flutter sleeve and i have a tutorial on how to make a flutter sleeve on my channel and i'll leave the link in the description box below for you to watch that okay so i'm just using my pattern i place it on two um on my fabric and i'll be cutting out two so this is what it looks like and i also cut out the the lining so now i'm going to sew the sides and also the on the hem um, after that, I gave it a good press, as you can see. So we are ready to attach it to our our bodice. Okay, so you just um, match the side seams together, just like I'm showing you here. So you match the side seams and then you continue to pin um, the sleeves to your bodice. And then now you're going to attach on the shoulder seam. Make sure you place a notch on your sleeve to match the shoulder seam. So you're just going to flip it over like so and pin it down. Okay, once you pin it down, you go ahead and ease the rest of the sleeve into your armhole. And then you're going to attach using your pin before sewing it. Okay, so I so I, I I went ahead and sewed the sleeve on, and this is the blouse after I've sewn on the sleeve, and this is the blouse on the mannequin, and uh, it came out looking very nice. So this took me like about two hours to make. So um yeah. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If it has, please uh, give me a thumbs up, like comment share and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and um, don't forget to come back again for another wonderful tutorial and i will see you on my next video bye bye